The heart is a strong muscle which consists of the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. The septum, which is in the middle of the heart, is a wall of heart tissue that separates the right atrium and ventricle and the left atrium and ventricle. The heart never stops beating. Its job is to pump blood throughout your body. Pacemakers are cells in the right atrium of the heart that control the heart rate and to tell the heart when to pump so it can pump blood throughout your body. Blood cells are made from the red bone marrow from the bones. Red blood cells do an important job of carrying oxygen and glucose throughout the body and sending carbon dioxide and other waste out through the lungs. Platelets have an important job of creating a barrier for blood when you cut yourself so you won't continuously bleed to death. White blood cells have an important job of fighting diseases to keep your body healthy. Now all these blood cells are surrounded by a yellowish liquid called plasma. A red blood cell's journey can begin anywhere in the heart, lungs, or body. But let's just say its journey begins in the top right area of the heart called the right atrium. Right here, the blood cell is now an oxygen poor blood cell because he is carrying carbon dioxide, a poisonous substance. It's so poisonous, the blood cell has to let it out to the lungs so we humans can breathe it out. Here, the right atrium contracts or squeezes and the blood cell travels through the tricuspid valve. After going through the valve, the blood cell is then squeezed into the right ventricle in the lower right area of the heart. Then, the right ventricle contracts and the blood cell is pushed through the pulmonary valve. It then enters the pulmonary artery. Now, pulmonary means lungs. So that means this blood cell is on the right path. The blood cell then travels to the lungs. Here, the blood cell arrives at the lungs capillaries, tiny blood vessels that exchange waste and carbon dioxide for oxygen. These capillaries are wrapped around the alveoli, tiny grape-like structures at the end of the bronchial branches that are in the lungs. In order to do that exchange, diffusion happens. That means that the blood cell has a lot of carbon dioxide and waste, and the lungs capillaries, after breathing, have too much oxygen, so they exchange. Now the lungs are able to breathe the carbon dioxide out, and the blood cell is now an oxygen-rich blood cell. With the contraction of the lungs as it breathes, the blood cell gets pushed along to the pulmonary veins. It then travels through the pulmonary veins to the left atrium of the heart, located on the left upper area of the heart. When the left atrium contracts, he is then squeezed through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle, which is located in the left lower area of the heart. When the left ventricle squeezes, it then pushes the red blood cell through the aortic valve. The blood cell flows into the aorta, the biggest artery in the human body. The blood cell then travels through this giant aorta and the blood cell has a decision to either go up or down. Let's just say the blood cell travels down to the stomach so that way it can receive some glucose which the body cells need. It then travels through more capillaries and gives out the oxygen and glucose and takes the carbon dioxide and other waste. If the blood cell was at the top, it will go through the superior vena cava, but because the blood cell was on the bottom, it will go through the inferior vena cava and it'll go into the right atrium again, starting the whole cycle again. The reason blood cells 
do this whole circulation is because they're actually giving oxygen and glucose needed substances to the body cells so they can have energy to give you energy for your body and also so the whole body is healthy also so cellular respiration can happen cellular respiration is when the cells break down oxygen and release energy from glucose to the body the whole circulatory system is like a highway for blood don't you think <laughs>